I'm really content to be fishing for these bunkers because they really do make great bait in the summertime. And here he comes. There you go, fresh bunker. <laughs> Good stuff, it's fun, it's fun. Alright, we'll fillet this just like we would any other fish. Cut right behind the head. Find the backbone. Go ahead and cut along the backbone. Oh, man, that's pretty tough skin there. Okay, here we go. All right, we get a fillet. Well, okay. So as you can see, these fish are loaded with, you know, blood and darker meat and such. This is where your fish oil comes from, your omega-3. This is why it's such a great, great and important fish. Well, let's put that aside. I'm gonna actually try to fillet one up here and I'm gonna try to eat it. I learned a long time ago, I live in, Eastern Pennsylvania, about an hour north of Philly. And uh, I would go down with the party boats fishing out of Philly, or out of uh, Jersey Shore, and the guys from Philly would come. And there'd be times that I was taught, oh, don't eat that, oh, that's too strong, oh, you're not gonna like that. And I'd go to throw it back, and those guys would say, hey, are you throwing that back? And I'd say, yeah. And they'd say, well, can we have it? I said, of course you can have it. Well, tell me, though, what you're gonna do with it. And they'd say, well, we're gonna eat it. I'm like, well, how do you do that? Show me. And they'd tell me or show me, you know, and uh, I don't know, it was really fun. I learned a lot from those guys. And I learned how to eat sea robins and eel pout and just all kinds of things that maybe not be the best looking fish or maybe even not the best tasting fish. And uh, I'm gonna clean this up. And so I learned that sometimes it's uh, the things that people say you shouldn't eat are pretty good. But everybody told me not to eat this bunker, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and eat it. Let's see if I can make anything out of it. I like to make a dipping sauce, especially when I'm trying to cover up flavor. Use a little bit of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise here. Okay, there's a little bit of that. Use a little bit of real lemon. I don't have any actual lemons here, so this is the next best thing. Put that in there. Use a little bit of Frank's Hot Sauce. It's the kind I like. A little bit, eh, a little bit more. You can never overdo it with the Franks, especially if you're suspicious of what everything's gonna taste like. Now, this is easy, just mix this together. You see it'll get a little clumpy there in the beginning, but the more you mix that, it'll soon blend together into a nice sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, beautiful sauce. Beautiful dipping sauce right there. Okay, we got the dipping sauce. Here I've got a little bit of panko plain. A little breading just to throw something on there. Kind of help the flavor along, hopefully. Let's take our little fillets that we got off that bunker. Dip it in there a couple times. I didn't put any egg or anything in there. So make sure it's coated real nice. Set it aside. Let's take another piece. I don't know if I'll get past one piece, but I'll do two just in case. 
is this an experiment? Now, some of you who may have tried eating Bunker, you know, there are people out there that like to try everything like me. Um, you may be saying, oh my gosh, Dave, oh boy, don't do it, don't do it. But I don't know till I try myself. So next thing is to fry them up. We'll get our nonstick pan nice and hot. I'm gonna use a little bit of this excellent Bragg's olive oil. It's wonderful stuff. Put a little bit in there. That should be enough, eh, maybe a little more because more is always better. We'll let that get hot and then we'll pop our fish fillets in. Okay, also threw some adobo all-purpose seasoning into the oil here and a little bit of sea salt and pepper. The adobo has ground up garlic and ground up onion, so that can't hurt. I'm gonna put this in to fry. Have it be a golden brown. I think this is enough of a sample, two little pieces. By the way, that's about what I got off of one bunker, This, these two pieces right here. So first of all, I'd say it's a lot of work. Okay, I smell the aroma. The aroma smells like your fish oil tablets. <laughs> let that on there for about a minute. Turn it over. That's nice and brown. Sure it is. You can get it turned over. There we go. Get you in there, fry you up. Let that fry up for another 30 seconds or so. I could imagine if you could stomach it, eating this raw or eating it cooked, it's like the best source of omega-3 anywhere in the world from what I've been reading. It's been around since Native American times here in the United States and all over the world. It's just getting past that heavy, heavy, oily flavor. You gotta process it. I put it on ice, we put it on ice right away. We had it in the cooler and then we put it on ice until I processed it here. Otherwise, it's so oily that the oils can get rancid in it. Okay, that looks good. Let's get it out of here. Let's plate it up. Little piece there. Little piece there. That doesn't look bad. Huh? Oh, there. We'll let that cool off and we'll try some of my magic sauce on it and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Ready or not, fresh bunker or Manhattan. Stuff they used to make Manhattan oil. They grind it up. Some people have actual, uh, my buddy Greg was telling me that they have devices you can put in the back of your boats that you just keep feeding the Manhattan into it and it chops it into chum and you have this big slick of oil and so forth going out the back of the boat. So if you're sharking or anything like that, it uh, could really help. Okay, let's taste this little piece first. Dip it into my sauce, the magic sauce. It's gonna make it taste all better. Okay, first taste, bunker. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, I expected that to be gross. It's not bad. It doesn't even taste fishy. What the heck? Now that piece I cleaned all the red, the dark red flesh off of. Let's try this piece. I didn't clean it as meticulously. And there's some little pin bones left in this, but like when I eat sardines and stuff, like when you eat sardines, you just you eat the bones and everything. So here we go. This sauce has a lot to do with making stuff taste great. You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say that's not bad. Not worth the work to clean them for the little bit of meat you get off of them. You get less than a blowfish off of a one, one of these babies. But they get up to 15 inches, so maybe if you got a bigger one, it'd be worth about. But if you keep them fresh and don't let the oil spoil, you could eat this. This is much milder than a sardine. Well, what do you know? A revelation, huh? Not bad. I'm glad I tried it. Try it sometime. Yeah, I really expected to be grossed out. This is good. Okay, so now that we tested this, honestly, I'm not kidding you. I wouldn't kid you. If it was gross, I would tell you. It's not about what I cooked or how I cooked it. It's about whether the fish tastes good or not. And this is... <laughs> This is not bad. 
much milder than a sardine and way milder than an anchovy. Wow. Really? If you were a person who was having to subsist off the land and you had access to Manhattan bunker, you could, you could live on this.